So I have a question for you. What do you do with your toilet paper when you are like, you know, when you're, when you're done, you know? Today on the vlog, I'm going over 10 things that you should know and most likely did not know about living in Costa Rica. You can park wherever you want. It doesn't matter. Park on the opposite side of the road, up the road, around the road, on the side of the road. It just doesn't matter. You can just park wherever you want. On whatever side of the road that you want. It really doesn't matter and it really just works. As long as you're not a dickhead, do whatever you want. Try that anywhere else and see how long it takes for the meter mate to lose your shit. I'm not even gonna touch on the subject of driving. That would take four episodes and five hours to fully just scratch the surface of that. Eggs are probably my most favorite food outside of blueberries on the planet. They're my favorite things ever. Eggs aren't refrigerated. This is the way they are. You get them in the grocery store like this, they're on a shelf, you put them at home on your shelf, and that's it. The other unique thing is milk. Milk is sort of the same. It comes in a Tetra Pack. You don't have to refrigerate it until you open it. Electricity is so expensive here, they needed a way to transport these things without having cooled vehicles to deliver them. But these bad boys are the best. So the sun set and the sun rises. This one's a little bit weird for me. Every day at six o'clock, it's basically dark. Costa Rica is 10 degrees north of the equator. So that basically, in layman's terms, equals out to 12 hours of sunlight and 12 hours of darkness every single day. 5 to 6 p.m. every single night, 365 days a year. All right, I have to interrupt for a second. I'm actually getting better at surfing, y'all. We went out last night and... It ain't much, but it's honest work. So the whole barefoot thing. You've probably seen a couple videos of me training in the gym barefoot. At first, very weird, very hard to get used to. I spent how many years training in shoes or in some kind of a lifting shoe. Now, I'm 100% barefoot in the gym. I gotta be honest, it's kinda awesome. Try that stuff at home in Canada though. Rip off your shoes, rip off your socks, and see how people react. I'm saving a ton of money on workout sneakers as well, so that's a bonus. The other thing about the barefoot stuff is it's everywhere. You see people in banks, you see people in restaurants, just barefoot. I will admit, at first I was a little grossed out with the whole barefoot thing in the gym. But now that I've gotten used to it and I realize that almost everybody here does it, it's not really that bad. My feet are probably stronger than yours now, so just saying. Actually, if you look into it, you'll see that millions of people around the world train barefoot for that very reason. Everything else gets strong, why not make your feet super strong? What's up, y'all? Future me coming to you three hours after the filming of this video. After the whole barefoot clip, I broke my toe at jujitsu. All right, so the money. The currency here is called colonies. You can exchange American money for colonies here in the country, and that's your best bet for sure. Don't do it at the airport, don't do it anywhere else, do it at the bank, but be warned. You have to have absolutely perfect bills or they are useless. You see this little pen mark on this $100 bill? Well, that's one of like six that we have that are absolutely useless here, and they're gonna have to come back to Canada with us. Here's the thing with the money. It's all different sizes. It doesn't line up. I don't know how to make it line up. Do the big bills go on the outside? Do the big bills go on the inside? It's colorful, and it has that weird plastic dealy on the side of it. I think we actually make it in Canada, but I'm not really sure. You can spend US dollars here. So my advice, if you're coming from Canada, 
Get Canadian money transferred into US and bring that here. However, you know what I said about being barefoot? You might as well go to the bank barefoot because you're gonna be there for a while. The waits are sometimes two to three hours. Oh, and if you're pregnant or if you're an old person, you get bumped to the front of the line. It's actually pretty cool. All right, so this thing's a little bit different. Check this out. This thing was rattling around tons in the back of the car. I had no idea what to do with it. I had no idea what it was. So I just took it out because it was driving me crazy. Turns out it's an emergency kit that you have to have by law in your vehicle. So let's check out what's inside of it. Fire extinguisher. Um, I believe this is some kind of a vest deal that you put on when you're on the side of the road. Those triangles, you put them up, you know, they're like uh, little pylon deals. You have to put them around your vehicle. Jumper cables. I thought there were supposed to be flares in there, but Ben probably took them and shot them off somewhere in the woods or the jungle, I have no idea. Dogs on motorcycles. Everywhere you go, you're gonna see a dog on a motorcycle. Standing up on the top of a tank, completely balanced, flying down the road, ears flapping in the wind, dogs on motorcycles. If I told you without showing you, you probably wouldn't believe me. However, check it out. Some of these dogs are so skilled, it blows my mind. How does a dog learn to balance itself on a motorcycle flying down a dirt road in the jungle? I don't know, I don't have the answer to it, but it's a sight to be seen, that's for sure. Everywhere you go here, people are transporting their dogs on a four-wheeler or a motorcycle. And they're not just sitting in a box and they're not strapped down, they're literally on the tank, balanced, no problem. All right, so this one might be a little bit different and you're probably gonna think I'm stupid, but hear me out till the end. Blankets, they just don't exist here. You can barely find them. If you do find them, they're super expensive. No one has them, no Airbnbs have them, no hotels have them, there's no blankets. And I get it, it's 40 degrees here, but you know what, there is air conditioning. Now, let me ask you this question. What about the monsters? And before any of you guys start laughing at me and making fun, you tell me honestly that you watch a spooky old movie and you're laying in bed at night and you get a little freaked out by a sound. You don't tighten that blanket up around your feet. You don't bring that foot in that you've had hanging out trying to cool down. <laughs> you tell me that, you're lying. Guarantee it. What's a sheet gonna do to the monsters? Nothing. They don't do anything. The thicker the blanket, the more protection that you have against the supernatural. And that's just the way it works. So when you're at a restaurant and you wanna pay your bill, they don't bring you your check. You have to ask for it or you have to go up and pay it. They're content with letting you sit there all night long and you certainly get the feeling that they're not in a rush to get rid of you. If you don't know this, you will literally sit at your table all night and wait for the bill. Kind of different. And finally, the one that you've been waiting for if you've made it this far in the video. The question that I asked is, what do you do with your toilet paper after you go number two? Here, you don't flush toilet paper. The infrastructure can't handle the toilet paper in the system, so guess what? You put it in the garbage. But, don't be a dickhead about it, okay? There's a technique. Take your toilet paper. Whatever method you prefer for the initial wipe, Wrap your poop tickets the way that you normally do. Do your business, but fold. Nice and clean. Toss that in the can, flush the toilet, you're well on your way. And yes, I wear my sunglasses when I make poopies. If Corey Hart can wear his sunglasses at night, I don't see the reason why I can't wear my sunglasses when I make poopies. So there you have it. Maybe not your typical 10 things that you'd like to know or should know or wanted to know about Costa Rica, but it was 10 things that I didn't know, so why not show you guys? Really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, any other things you want to know about Costa Rica, shoot it in the comments, let me know, and I'll be sure to get it up. Thanks, guys.